against my good deal and my pillow because they expressed views which not only in my opinion, but in the opinion of other eminent constitutional scholars who were with me uh, on the briefs uh, are completely protected by the First Amendment. I was a law clerk back in 1963 and 1964 report when the case of New York Times versus Sullivan was decided. I helped draft one of the concurring opinions in New York Times versus Sullivan. And I firmly believe that what Mike Lindell said, was quoted in the opinion yesterday, was fully protected by the First Amendment. If you disagree with it, write in an article, speech, condemn him, attack him, do all those things. That's all protected by the First Amendment. But do not censor him, because if you censor him, you are weakening the First Amendment. And whatever is true of Mike Lindell and Mike Pillow's ability to speak is true of your ability to speak. Today, again, it's the election. Uh, tomorrow, it might be health and the vaccines and other issues other controversial issues. It will be China, it will be Iran, it will be future elections. And yesterday was a bad day for the First Amendment. And I'm here to tell you that I hope that tomorrow and the tomorrows that follow will be the good days for the First Amendment because my, hopefully, and my pillow will win their cases going forward and will establish a debate censor debate about elections. If you disagree, disagree, but don't censor. If you're, if you're confident of your views, if Dominion is confident that it's right, the last thing it should do is sue. If you're confident you're right, go into the marketplace. Persuade people in the marketplace of ideas, but don't shut down the marketplace. And that's what happened yesterday. It was shut down. The marketplace of ideas was shut down. But we will continue to fight for the First Amendment. The First Amendment needs breathing room. There needs to be opportunities to argue against the government, to argue against conventional positions. And I will be there defending the First Amendment until as long as the good Lord gives me the strength to fight for the First Amendment. you're taking it away from every American. So I urge you to fight back and to fight in defense of the First Amendment, freedom of speech, and our constitutional rights.